So I normally don't do this, but we're going to start some new things today. Okay. I'm going to talk about this whole episode because this is a really big episode. Okay. We're talking about Real Housewives of Potomac, I believe, episode 07 Beef is Served. Okay. Child. When I tell you, like I said, I don't normally do this, but I am going to start doing more like reviews and not just like the panel discussions with other people, but like reality TV reviews because then I gotta put more content and mess with the algorithm with this and sir. So please be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment because I know y'all will because this was a really explosive episode that you know you never really do see like the episodes that are like set in one space the entire time. Like they was literally at bar one the entire episode leading up to this smackdown beat down or whatever you want to call this child between Mia and Wendy child. Now I'm going to tell you what I think. I'm going to tell you what happened. And then I'm going to tell you what I think. Okay. Because there's a lot of, there's a lot of situations going on with this, uh, little argument that happened. So anyway, we cut back to the part where we left off where Peter's like, Oh, I'm not messing with Wendy right now. Or we beefing or whatever this and the third. And essentially he tells Mia that, well, I'm going to just let it be known when, when, when she get here. And I'm just like, Peter, you is giving messy bitch vibes. Like Peter has not changed. Peter is still Patricia. And somebody said this on Twitter. They said what Nini said back in the day is aging like fine wine. Patricia, P Patricia. I mean, that's just who he is. Like Patricia is Peter. <laughs> um, you're picking fights with other people's wives. You're mad because somebody's in your town and not calling you. I can understand if it was on some business stuff. Okay, pull it to the side. But you doing other stuff. You be you starting stuff and then hiding your hand. But anyway, we'll get into it. Um. So yeah, everybody was just getting ready for the party or whatever. Same old, same old. Everybody getting ready. Mia's feeling some type of way, I guess, about Sharice. Um. And this is just going to be like a quick, this is like my first thoughts. I'm not going to give you, I'm not going to give you the full breakdown. We'll do the full breakdown when we do the panel discussion tomorrow with Al Teddy. Cause I know there's going to be a lot that he's going to say, child. And there's probably some stuff that I'm missing out, but like, yeah. So they, they're dealing with the little technicalities, getting ready for this little dinner or whatever at bar none, bar none. Um, <laughs> I guess Mia has an issue with Sharice, like, try, like being like, oh, I can't. This is not my scene or whatever, leaving this end third. So she had her little tiff with her. Anyway, they get in the car. They're in separate cars talking about the situation. You know, they get to the party. Okay, well, they get to the little bar or whatever. And there was conversations that was happening. Like, there was, there was a couple of interesting conversation points that were made, like the whole situation with Sharice and Karen was brought up and Karen was just trying to be like, you know, sometimes, you know, you fall out of good graces with people and that's good. And at the end of the day, Sharice did say that, you know, talk about her husband, talk about her allegedly cheating on her husband or whatever. So that's going to take people over the edge. And she don't want to mess. She don't want to mess with you. She don't want to go out to, brunch or anything like that she ain't gotta do that um what else happened child and i think it got into somewhere wendy well what happened was peter came over okay peter came over and was being real fake to wendy because my mind you you said you got all this smoke or whatever but then when you come around you don't want to post up so I was like, okay, Patricia, you are a, that's a messy bitch. That's a messy, messy bitch. Okay. Let's be clear. Um, Mia goes to head and be like, you know what? No, I'm, I'm going to see what's the beef. Cause she, cause she'd been trying to figure out what's the beef for so long this entire episode. So she walked over to Peter and Peter basically said, well, uh, she, we were supposed to go into business and this, that, and the third, we're supposed to be opening up. Um, and I miss, I, I'm, I'm not telling you this part too, cause it was something that happened before they actually went. They said, and this is why I really think Peter's a messy bitch. I think it was Giselle that said, oh, sure. Um, Wendy tried to, you know, look up Peter or whatever, try to Google him or whatever to get a, a, a consensus of who he is or what's that and third. And, you know, basically he was like, well, I, I, I really was just like leading her on. Like I was like, he was going to do this business deal, but I really wasn't trying to work for her or something, something to the, to the effect of that. Like I said, it'll be more fleshed out tomorrow on the panel discussion. But like, 
I was just like, yo, Peter, you a messy bitch. You are a messy whore. Okay, let's be very clear. Um, but anyway, yeah, she told she uh, he told Mia that, oh yeah, well we had a business run in and she she hasn't been hitting me back up. And then you come to my city and you come to my uh bar and you don't say nothing or say anything to me to set in the third. And my thing is this, like when you went over there, you had all the optimum opportunity to be like, Hey, can I speak to you for a second? Like, Hey, can we talk for a second? Now? I mean, you was keeping it cool. She was keeping it cool. She said, hi, you said, hi, she said, hi. Like, like, it, like I said, like it's giving jealous bitch vibes. Like, I don't know what you expect her to do. Like this is, and, and this is where I said, cause I talked to my best friend about this. Like it seemed like these Bravo, the male Bravo liberties, honey, whenever the girls like person, they man not around, that's when they be thinking they can go in on you. And it's giving very much bitch vibes. But um, I said that about other cast members, and we ain't gonna bring up no names. But we all know who you. We all know who I'm talking about. Child, not this bill. Mia walks back to her table, and they they get to she gets to talking about. Uh, they just like, where'd you go? Where what you talking about? Is that in third? And then I guess that's when uh Mia came out with it and was like, well, Peter got beef with you, and this that and the third. And I guess Wendy, that's when Wendy, she, she, she said her thing and she was like, well, I don't even know why you even in this or, you know, coming at her, coming at me rightfully so. Cause you know, it ain't got, no, you know, it really ain't got nothing to do with you. Like this is on some business stuff. Why is he even talking to you about this? Why is he even entertaining this? Like, and they go back and forth. Now, Wendy says something about her husband. It's like, oh, well, you know, basically she said, well, I don't do that type of stuff. Like I, that's not my man. I'm not going, I don't know what you do with your man, but me, the only person I call, I check up on is my man. I don't check up on nobody else's man. Like, just like, you know, trying to insinuate that, you know, she be, Mia be checking up on other people because she be, you know, doing the dirty deeds, honey, doing the fornication. Um, So that didn't sit well with her. She ended up throwing a drink in Wendy's face and Wendy went off. Like, when I tell you Wendy is was livid, okay, she was going the fuck off. And rightfully so. I, I you know, you don't throw no damn drink at me. Like, who, girl, Wendy better than me because I would have hopped up off that chair and snatched that damn wig off. I, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I would have snatched that damn wig off. Ain't no way in the world you throwing a drink at me, girl. Now, I will say this about Wendy though. Like, I do feel that and I'm this is not me agreeing with Robin because Robin was Robin acted like a full damn Karen. We're gonna get into that ass in a little bit. But I do feel like um Wendy can be antagonistic in some ways. I think anytime like like any part after the whole drink throwing, okay. You know, that's you know, she's being reactive. She obviously, you know, was doused with liquor. Like that's no nobody wanna be doused with liquor. That's that's very like you done got dolled up. You we got expensive clothes on. You gonna you gonna mess up my shit? Yeah, we gonna have an issue with that. Anything before that, it did kind of seem like in the beginning she kind of she be saying these things that be that do kind of be egging people on to like you know get upset with certain things. So I, so I can understand that point. But any anytime any event after the drink toss, I was like, oh no, you better go all the way to fuck off. I was with Wendy wholeheartedly. And as for Karen, or not Karen child, because we love, I love Karen. The other Karen child, the other green eye bandit. Okay. Not Giselle. What's about Robin? There we go. That, that, that is another one. That is a messy, that's a messy one right there. She's a, she is a Karen. Like she literally got out her phone and recording people and really only paying attention to Wendy to make it even seem like Wendy is the aggressor in this whole situation. And she goes on to say like, Oh, well you're, you're being the aggressor. You're, you're antagonistic. You're antagonistic. I was like, Robin, if you don't shut your stupid ass up. And then we got Giselle Dick riding in the background. Like I was just like, Oh my God. Like y'all it is, is it really is even, even Ashley, even freaking like El Teddy would say, Satana was like, you know, the, the drink tossing was just a little bit too much. And I probably would do the same thing. Like if, if it was done to me, like the fact that they're not seeing it and I get it. Cause they don't, they don't like Wendy, but Giselle ain't got no reason to not like Wendy except for, cause Robin don't like Wendy. Cause you know, they be, they be D right. She be D riding. But like there is a double standard because I think Wendy brought it up. It was like, well, y'all had an issue with y'all didn't have an issue with Monique, 
but y'all got an issue with me. Now, Monique actually did put hands on someone. She grabbed somebody's hair, you know, and even though I like Monique, I love Candace. I love Monique. I like, I, 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 you know, it's certain. It's so weird how I like both of them. Anyway, Monique was wrong with that in that situation, right? Like, you know, you don't physically put your hands on nobody, throw no drink, throw no glass, pull hair, like, no. Um, but that was excused, but this was not. You know, I, I think I think Wendy and this is why a lot of people on Twitter are saying that, you know, they're never getting past the colorism allegations because we see me in the background saying, oh, this ghetto hood rat or whatever this and the third. And then like we see the green eye bandits, except for Ashley, like scoffing and recording Wendy and only showing Wendy's blow up and not really showing Mia's. As if to be like, oh, well, I'm going to get this shit on record so nobody can say things weren't done like they said. Like, girl, like y'all ain't got like five different cameras around y'all to, that, that will give y'all receipts. Because literally, bravo will. It don't make no sense, child. It don't make no sense. I'm, I, I am sick of them. This is really my show. I, I can't wait to talk about this more tomorrow on the uh, discussion panel with El Teddy. Um, hope to see y'all there in the comments, child, in the live chat. But this is what I got to say about this because I just got done watching it and I was a little hyped. So, you know, be sure to give this video a like, a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please do. And I will get back to you soon. All right, bye.